and today is Mom Monday and a couple of tips and tricks for newbies, for maybe those of us that are a little bit more experienced in how I work on a large canvas in a small space and multi-placing for beginners, or in my case, multi-placing for dummies. So hopefully you will find these tips and tricks valuable. All right, so let's check out my latest Mom Monday creation. This was a quilted bag, kind of an overnight bag. I used it as a school bag, as you can tell from the fraying on the cords that she uh, put in here. It was it's very well loved. Um, again, I used it for my school bag. Sometimes if I was going uh, to an overnight, I would put my stuff in it. It's just beautiful. Um, the outside, as you can see, has a lot of batik in it. She loved batik. Of course, we lived in Bangkok, Thailand for quite some time and batik was one of her favorite fabrics and I just loved it. And the inside is also lined in a beautiful blue. She put pockets in it to, you know, again, have some pockets in it. So it's got four pockets in it and it's pretty much completely reversible. If you wanna have the outside of your bag be blue, then you can just turn it inside out and there you go and have the pockets on the outside. So um, I just love this bag and again, have had it for years and years. I think she did this for me in high school and I wanted to share that with you again. I try to share a little something of my mother every mom Monday. All right. And again, from her journal, I don't know if I've shared this with you, but my sister, Malai, uh, we adopted in Thailand and we adopted her when she was nine days old. And so in my mom's journal, she had um, a poem on the adopted child, author unknown. It says, my own child. I did not plant you true, but when the season is done, when the alternate prayers for sun and rain are counted. When the pain of weeding and the pride of watching are through, then I shall hold you high, a shining leaf above the thousand seeds grown wild. Not my planting, but by heaven, my harvest, my own child. And I just thought that was beautiful. And again, she was an awesome lady. Loved her dearly, miss her dearly every day. All right, moving on. Um, Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Uh, I'm filming on Memorial Day, um, and I hope everyone is having a great day remembering those who have bravely served and uh, unfortunately passed from this earth. My son uh, was a Marine. My dad was in the Army, and um, I respect our, our uh, military more than anyone knows. So happy Memorial Day, and let's remember everybody. Okay, so as you all know, I'm working on Melody, and Melody is, where's the dimensions, let's look, uh, 56 by 71 centimeter. So she's pretty big. And as you can see from my workspace, I have procured a lot of accoutrements, or I've collected a lot of stuff, or I just have a lot of crap. Anyway, um, so that's kind of crowding my workspace. I need to clean that up. but. As you can see, my workspace is, is fairly small. So what I'm doing, someone asked me this, one of, um, someone commented on my video, it looks like you have a small workspace, I do too. How do you work on such a big canvas? I see you're working sideways, sometimes upside down, and, and I do that. Um, the way I do it, and it works really well, especially since I have this sticker from Diamond Art Club, if I've got her turned this way, then all the symbols I turn this way so that I don't you know, make a mistake. All the Diamond Art Club symbols are pretty clear and you can tell what they are. But again, just so an arrow is not going the wrong way or you don't get something um, mixed up, I just turn it sideways. So as far as big canvas, small workspace, this is what you can do. You can roll your canvas from either side but the way you roll it is important. You need to roll this canvas with the diamonds on the outside, never on the inside. And I know that sounds weird, but trust me, that's what you wanna do. So I'm getting ready to roll the bottom of this canvas. And before I do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around here so that the completed area is off of the light pad. I'm gonna take a towel Yes, it says Kara, and make sure you don't get it on any of the glue. But for the completed 
side of it before I roll it outwards, and this is just me, I'm a little hidden type A, I take a roller and you can get these on Amazon, but you don't have to use one of these rollers. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can use a rolling pin. You can use the side of a glass if you've got you know, a smooth glass, but if it is glass, do not press too hard. I don't want anyone cutting themselves. So I'm just gonna roll. You can kind of hear some popping, meaning some of the drills have to settle into place. And I just roll it to make sure that they're flat. And I put a towel, I just do, I put a towel on top of uh, the painting when I roll it just to protect uh, the diamonds and it works just fine. Okay, so now I've got it rolled. Take this towel off. Okay, and then I've got, where did they go? I've got clips. Okay, where did that thing go? It's, oh, it's hiding under the inventory sheet. Okay, so I've got these little clips you can use cover minders, you can use clothes pins, it really doesn't matter. I got these as a little gift with uh, something I ordered. And so what I'll do now is I'm gonna take this painting and I'm gonna carefully roll it backwards with the diamonds again on the outside. And I'm gonna roll it up about as far as I can go. Um, I don't wanna roll up any areas I still need to work on because that would kind of defeat the purpose there. And then I'm just gonna clip my canvas. And that way, I now have a smaller workspace to work with, and uh, it'll be much better to get it on the light pad. I can see easier, um, and yep, that's how I do that. Now, as far as multi-placing, excuse me, I have to put on my nerdly glasses. Okay, so I'm in a space now where I can start to look, get my light pad under it, at some multi-placing because there's some color blocking here. So I, I kind of wanted to demo that. Um, multi-placing versus single placing, I will tell you I started, and here's a little, I have a little display of multi-placers. I don't have a three-placer in here, but I have several different sizes. And if you're not sure, some of the multi-placers will have the number on it of how many uh, you can pick up. I think I got a couple of six placers here. Oh gosh, this looks like maybe a nine placer. Uh, not quite sure. And then I have a little straightener. So you can put this on your pen and straighten your rows if you've got crooked uh, diamonds that you wanna straighten out. But you can also start, and it's about the size of this uh, straightener with a three placer. And that is what I started with. And I'm looking here, to, oops, it's filling. I'm looking here to see if I have a three placer. Um, not seeing one. Oh, yep. Okay, here we go. This is a little mini pen, pen. This is from Storm Sister Studio. They do beautiful work. Um, but this is a three placer, and that's what I started with. Um, you can find two placers. It's a little bit more unique and rare, but I started with a three placer, and I just started, guys, multi placing. I started multi placing on my Chuck Pinson to obviously expedite my efforts there. Um, and when you think about multi placing, that's what you're doing. You're essentially speeding up the time that it's gonna take you to get a painting complete. I'm under a deadline with this. We need to be done with this painting by the end of this week. And as you can see, I've got a lot to go. So I definitely need to uh, multi-place. First thing you need to do when you multi-place again, I use patty wax. Whatever wax you use, perfectly fine. Load up your pen. Super sticky patty wax in my single placer. Way I do it is I just dig it down. Look at this, I mean, it's a mess because I've been digging. So you just dig it down in the wax. You're gonna have some on the outside. I just stick my thumb down on it and I continue just to fold the excess wax and press it in there. Press it in the, uh, the pen really well. So you have a good and loaded pen. Then I press it down. These are release papers that I got from Star War, and that's what I press it down on. You can press it down on another surface if you're more comfortable with that, but you wanna load your pen really well. And make sure you get all of the excess wax off the outside, which is not a big deal. Then I'm gonna come in. I get a little bit on here just to demo it. Okay, this is my, this is my Berry Tangerine regular patty wax, and you can tell it's been very loved as well. Um, and you're just gonna scrape it into your multi-placer. And this, I'm working with a six-placer here. Just gonna scrape it in. 
I think I had some in there, so I'm not gonna just stuff it full of wax. Okay, and again, you're gonna work it. I work it with my hands, press it down. Make sure your pen's nice and loaded. Then again, press it down on your release paper. You're gonna have some squish out the sides. I just take my nail, scrape it off. And if you have to do it a few times, just make sure your pen is good and loaded. Now, I know there are people that complain about what they call boogers on their drills. And I will tell you, I'm a heavy handed person and it happens, it really does. I don't sweat it. What I do, is I leave the area exposed to the air overnight and then the next day I come in with a toothbrush and it brushes right off. No big deal and your diamonds are just as shiny. Um, they'll, they'll do great. So again, if you get a little residue on your drills, don't sweat it with any kind of wax you're using. Not your mama's mud, pink wax, yellow wax, I mean any kind of wax. But um, if that happens, just let it sit there because to fight it with tweezers, it's still gummy and kind of wet. But the next day, if you leave the area exposed, it'll dry out and you can brush it off really easily. Okay, so again, what I've said, the purpose of multi-placing is to expedite your work on a canvas. So what I'm gonna do, what number is this? Number eight, get rid of the towel. I want P, I want 23, all right. All right, so here is 23. And this demo is not gonna be long and I'm gonna promise you guys something. I'm gonna mess up in this. I may not get all the drills down. They, some of them may be crooked. That's just the nature of multi-placing. And again, I'm a beginner, I'm a beginner as well. So um, another big challenge to this is we have mixed in uh, ABs, and for those of you that don't know what AB stands for, it's Aurora Borealis, and the Aurora Borealis coating gives it a little bit of an extra sparkle. You can see some of the Aurora Borealis is in, right in here, and they just shine a little bit brighter, and they pick up the light. They pick up uh, and, and capture many facets of, of light and, and make them very colorful, kind of like the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. I have glow glass in here uh, that I've mixed in with these particular drills and glow glass comes from sparklers with Tima. You can find sparklers with Tima on Facebook and I believe I have linked her below. If I have not, let me know and I certainly will for you. All right, so multi-placing. My first philosophy on multi-placing is if you put down more than one drill, you are doubling your work capacity on a diamond painting. So even though this is a six placer, I may only pick up four at times. That's okay, I've quadrupled my work capacity. So don't fight with your drills. If you pick up four, don't try to hit it again and pick up, just put four down and you're, you're good. Again, you've put more than one down. That being said, I am an attention deficit placer. Some people like to multi-place. Some people don't like to multi-place. I go back and forth all the time. So I'll start to multi-place multi and get sick of it and then go back to single placing and then go back to multi-placing. You, you never know, it's just how just how you work. And if you don't like to multi-place and you're a single placer, good for you because this craft, it's to each his own. If I am in an area with just one or two drills down, I'll, I'm probably gonna single place it. All right, so I got four here. So what you're gonna do in your tray, and this is uh, a tray that I got from Beth at uh, Shine Shop Designs. It's a larger tray that holds more drills. So I'm shaky shaky in from side to side, but to straighten them, I just find if you shake it like that for, um, up and down, you get some good lines of uh, drills. If you don't, you can take your multi-placer or single placer and press them back carefully and there you got it. So I got four. So I'm going to attempt to pick up four. Oh, I got five. Well, that's not gonna work, so I gotta knock one off. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do when I multi-place, I find one drill on this multi-placer and one symbol and line them up and the rest will line up. So I'm looking at the top, lined it up, there you go. All right, I only put down three. That's all right, I, quadru or I tripled my effort. So I'm just gonna put one down, move on. Next one is five. So I'm looking here, move it back, a little bit of glow glass here. Five, all right. Picked it up, line it up. Again, find one symbol to line it up with, pull it back, there you go. 
Uh, again, this is only a six placer, so you're gonna have some rows that are more. Well, I got a bonus drill, so let's see what we can do here. Yay, look at me, I seven placed. Didn't mean to, but I did, okay? So that is how, again, I multi-place. And, and to line up these drills, and I try to get kind of a variety, so you got some glow glass in there. That's kind of a challenge when you're mixing up your colors here, but. Um, Again, don't press too hard, especially when you've just loaded your pin. Find a symbol, match it up with a drill on your drill pin, and the rest will line up, and there you go. So, um, and I'm gonna single place this because I need to put some more glow glass in here. Again, that's kind of a challenge when you've got mixed drills and you're wanting a variety of. It's funny, the glow glass all seems to wanna be together and <laughs> The regular colors all want to seem to be together, so it's kind of a challenge. All right, line one up. Don't look at them all or you'll drive yourself nuts. Just one. Line them up, lay them down. Don't press too hard. And again, if you only lay down three drills and you meant to lay down six, don't fight with it. Just lay down three because, again, you've tripled your efforts as far as getting drills laid down in a diamond painting. So that is my little hints, tricks, and tips to multi-placing. I hope you, some of you have found it useful. Again, I'm scooting my diamonds back with my multi-placer, getting them on the pin, got them all, and down they go. And again, you can see when I lay it down, I move to the side. Um, that is to make sure that I'm not pressing too hard and that all of my diamonds get laid down like I want them. Now, if your wax starts to stick on your drills, what have you, what I have found that works for me is I press it down again on my release paper and I run it over my hand. Something about the oil in your hand works beautifully. I hardly ever have gunk on my drills when I do it that way. I, I, I just think it's something about the oil, the oil in your hands that, that do that. Okay. All right. I believe that is my tutorial on multi-placing. If you have any questions or tips or tricks for me, that you would like to share that work for you. I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Again, I hope everyone has a wonderful Memorial Day and I hope you have found this somewhat useful. And I'm gonna remind you before I go, if you like the video and you would like to subscribe, I would love to have more folks join me. I always like to have more friends. Um, I am gonna be putting out a whip and chat tomorrow and a birthday video on my birthday with Robin's painting that she sent, so that'll be fun. But let me remind you, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.